I'll be painting a simple step-by-step -step wildflowers in misty landscape watercolour painting using just one colour. I'm Karen Rice and welcome to my YouTube watercolour channel. So let's get started. I'm using Shadow Violet, Daniel Smith Shadow Violet, but you could use Payne's Grey, Black or any dark grey colour that you like. I'm using a size 14 round brush and some rough watercolour paper, 300 grams, 14 by 10 inches. For details about all the materials I'm using, please check out the description below and it'll have Amazon links if you'd like to purchase any of them. I load my brush each time I make this stroke going from left to right going across. Make sure you have plenty of paint when you're doing a flat wash like this wet on dry. This is for the background and what I'm doing now is I've just diluted that wash and I'm paling it towards the horizon. So this is the sky area. And if you look at the reference photograph, it is very, very light. So don't worry about this, it's quite a nice stage. If you want to, and if it helps you, you can wet your paper to begin with. It's a nice way of loosening up a painting, especially if you're a bit scared about painting on it. For the outline drawing templates, check out the Patreon link in the top right hand corner. I'm working my way down now towards the bottom of the painting where it's quite sort of misty. And what I'm doing now is I'm adding plenty more water here to make sure I don't run out of paint. If you're worried about doing this, make sure you make a big puddle in the first place so you don't have to panic. And the other thing you can do is work on a smaller scale, especially if you're starting out in watercolour painting. What I'm doing now is I'm using the size 14 brush and mixing up a little bit more paint to make it a bit darker as you come into the foreground. Still wet on dry. And as you notice, I've got a little, my little framing tape behind the painting there, tilting it because there's a slight angle so it helps the paint move down and flow better. And I've mixed up a little bit of slightly darker colour now so the paint's a little bit damper, a bit creamier to make that darker area right in the foreground painting wet on dry now i've swapped to my size six brush and i've got quite creamy paint and i'm working on this wet paper damp into wet remember i'm just using one color shadow violet what you might notice as i'm painting along here the paint kind of separates and you get a pinky shade as well which is really nice but you do get that with other colors other grays as well they'll separate a little bit and they'll be like a secondary color so you've got all this control by using just one color but you've got this secondary colour as well as a bonus. So I'm just working away here on these sort of distant trees where it's quite misty in the background. And this is a nice way of creating mist. What you don't want to do is make your brush wetter than the surface of the paper. So make sure your paint's slightly creamier. In the foreground here, I've got hardly any sort of moisture on my brush. It's almost just the paint and I'm using the surface of the paper that's damp to dilute the paint paint and I'm painting some grasses in damp into damp with my size 14 brush. I've blow dried my painting and I'm using the size 6 brush and I'm working wet on dry and I'm painting these wildflowers. I believe it's hogweed but I could be wrong here and I'm just diluting here making some lighter areas so dropping sort of a watery paint into a damp paint. You may get backgrounds, but it's all part of the lovely textures that you can get with watercolour. And I'm painting with the tip of my size six brush, wet on dry, with this shadow violet colour and painting all this detail.
I've allowed my painting to dry again and this is the next stage and I'm building up tonal values. I'll be working wet on dry just to paint some darks now in this wildflower and just to kind of give it a little bit more depth and bring this flower um, a little bit forward from the background as well. I'm using the size six brush. It is wet on dry. I'm still using that shadow violet and I'm just creating textures on the edges here. Have fun with it. Just look at those darks in the picture. Remember with watercolor, keep it simple. You know, just don't overdo things. Paint what you see and move on. Don't doubt yourself. Just finishing off there with the size two brush, I've decided to use, um, the, it's actually the end of my paintbrush and I've sharpened it, believe it or not, with a pencil sharpener. So it creates a lovely point. Now this is not a sable brush, it's nothing special, this brush, an old brush that I've used to put masking fluid on. And I'm just creating some real spiky little textures just to finish off with those final little bits of details, wet on dry with that shadow violet. I think I'll leave the painting there for now. I've taken off the framing tape to show the white border. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you'd like to see more videos like this, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel and you'll get updates of my latest videos. If you have any comments or questions, please put them in the comments section below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see longer videos with more voiceovers and drawing templates, why not give my Patreon membership a try? Details about that are in the description below and please don't hesitate to ask me any questions. Thanks again for watching, happy painting, bye for now.